Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, episode 100. I'm having a little celebratory beer over here. Uh, could you could you do that on YouTube? Is that a problem? I guess we'll find out. As usual, I thought for milestone episodes, let's do something kind of silly and ridiculous. So I made a video and a lot of you had really good suggestions and I'll get to all of these um, either in their own videos or in kind of one video altogether, Q&A style. Um, but one of the comments really stuck out to me as the perfect candidate for today by Achilles. How to make Reaper change the themes you have in a cycle every five to 10 minutes automatically. So that is <laughs> just ridiculous and so utterly useless. So naturally I love it. As one user mentioned, that's scriptable and you know, we have a scripting series and um, I'll, I'll make a point to do something like that in the future. But there is another way for those who aren't willing to, you know, get their hands dirty scripting. So let's get to that. So as most of you probably already know, if you go to options and you go to your themes, you can change the themes right here. And as you can see, I don't have too many themes. I really just like the default theme, which I made a few tweaks for using the theme tweaker script. And I made a video for that, which is members only. So maybe I'll make that public one day or or, you know, become a member of the channel, hey, hey. But yeah, I don't have too, too many themes because I just like the default, but I can just click on any of these themes and it will load it instantly. So if I click on this one, this is the Pro Tools theme. I'll switch it over just to stop your eyes from watering. It is a very beautifully done theme. I think it looks remarkably like Pro Tools. So well done, Albert C. But let's just click here to change it. So we can change it right there, but in order to make any process automated, we need to have actions. To make actions out of loading themes, if you have SWS, is really easy to do. You just go up to your extensions and you open the resources window. It'll open this window here. And from this drop down menu, you can just select the theme window. Right now, this is a blank for me, but if we move our mouse right here, it says autofill theme slots, right click for options. So I'm gonna right click and go set autofill directory. From here, I'll just navigate to my Reaper resource path and I'll choose the color themes folder and I'll hit open. Now our autofill directory has been set so I can just click here and it will automatically populate this list with all the themes we have right here. So I can again, double click on any of these. Maybe let's double click on this logic theme. That looks pretty good too. I actually have a duplicate of that so let's delete that slot. Uh, let's delete a few of these actually. And you know, this gives us an ability to kind of double click and load our themes without menu diving, but that's nothing special yet. Let's open the action list. Here you just search for load theme and we'll get these actions. Right now I only have four of those. And in a previous video, I've shown you how to get more of these if you need them. I'll put a timestamp link to that right up there so you can go check it out. You just have to edit your snm.ini file in a text editor and just change a few numbers and you'll get more actions for load themes for more of these slots. Right now we only have four, so let's just do four. So I can just right click and delete some of these slots. Let's keep the Pro Tools one. Let's keep my normal one, keep the Logic one. And for the fourth one, we'll just do the Ableton one. So now we have these four slots and we can run them using these actions. So Pro Tools, this is the normal one. This is the Logic Pro. And this is the Ableton one, cool. Let's for now just switch back to uh, the default. And now we need to find a way of automating this. And again, this is scriptable and we'll script this in due time or you can beat me to the punch and make a tutorial. But one way I know of doing something like that is using the MPL script task scheduler. So I'll just run this and that'll open this window right here. As usual with MPL scripts, you get a really nice uh, graphical user interface as well. I can just click on this plus icon to add an event. So you add an action list, you set a time for it, and it runs that action at that time. Now adding the action list right here hasn't been working for me, so I'll show you how I do it. I'm just gonna go back to the action list and look for load theme. And I'm gonna right click on this first one and go copy selected action command ID. And now that's been copied for us. So on this first one that we made, I'm just gonna click here. Right now it's 5.51, so it's gotta be 5 p.m. somewhere and it happens to be right here. And I'm gonna just set this one for five minutes from now, why not? So today's January 25th, 2022, Jesus Christ. 
and I'll just set this for uh, 555, why not? Now I'm just gonna click on where it says null, choose action list ID and paste my action there, and it'll add it here. Then I'll just rinse and repeat for the other one. So load theme two, copy cycle command ID, click here, action list ID and paste it here. And just keep going like that. So maybe for the next one, let's choose uh, 56. Oh, actually with this one, it's still set to February 1st. So let's change that one 25th. Let's set this for 57. Choose action list ID, paste this one. Oh, that's still theme two. So let me just change that. This is why I don't operate Reaper while drunk. <laughs> okay, and make one last one. And I'll set that for January 25th at 57. Hit OK. Action command ID and paste it here. So now, as you can see, there's a timer running here. And as we hit these times, it's going to automatically switch to those themes. And while, you know, what we're doing today with this is kind of silly, I think there are real life applications for this. Uh, you know, you can have a daytime theme and a nighttime theme, which is a little bit darker, something like that could be cool. Of course, don't put your save action here. You can just set Reaper to auto save. But, you know, there's probably a lot of cool things you can do with this. I'm always amazed by seeing what y'all do with some of the stuff I show you. There's always some creative uses that I couldn't have thought of. So I can't think of too, too many things to do with this, but you know, let me know in the comments if you use this task scheduler for anything. And just as a side, if you click on this R here, you get some repeat options. So right now it's set to repeat always, and it's set to repeat every day, but you can set this to a weekly schedule. You can set it only on weekends or something. So maybe on weekends you like to work with the Logic Pro theme, I, I don't know. So you can set all of that right here. And, you know, if you want it to be done every five minutes, I guess you got to make 12 times 24 of these or maybe 12 times 16 for all the times that you're awake. So definitely a scripted version of this will be more useful, but this doesn't require any scripting. In a few seconds, the theme is going to switch. So let's count down together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, joinks. And now it's on the new theme. And again, in about a minute, it's going to switch again to number three. I kind of messed this up, but whatever, you know, I'm drunk. What are you going to do? I guess this gives us a minute. This is episode 100 of Rapid Fire Reaper tutorials. It's a 200th video. We also have, you know, about 50 or so live streams. There's some members only videos. So it's been a pretty kind of prolific year and a half. So thank you all for being with me. I'm really happy to be part of the Reaper community. I think it's one of the best communities out there with really wonderful users. It's really my favorite place on the internet, I guess. I wouldn't have my Facebook if it wasn't for lurking all the various Reaper groups. I also like the forums, the subreddit, uh, you know, I can take or leave, but um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool sometimes. Oh, and there we go, it changed again. So now it's on the logic theme that was on slot three and in a minute it will go to the Ableton theme. I'll also put links to where to download these themes, but they're all from the forums or the Reaper stash. Pretty easy to find or just look for Reaper live theme and you'll see them. And that's another part of the community that I really love is all the people who make scripts and make themes. And of course, I'd be remiss not to thank the wonderful Kenny Joya for letting me be on his channel. And that gave, you know, uh, this channel, you know, a pretty big boost in terms of subscribers. There we go, now it's the Ableton theme. So yeah, uh, I guess that's it for the tutorial. Uh, you can use this or you can script this or you can use this script as your inspiration. So copy all the code and then just change the values that you need to change for this to become like an hourly thing instead of a weekly or daily thing. Yeah, that's how you do that or that's how I would do that if there are better ways to do it. Uh, put them in the comments and we'll all know. Thanks to all our members for making monthly contributions to the channel. I really appreciate it and I hope I can make more awesome content for you. Thanks for everybody who's been sustaining the channel through one-time donations uh, through buymeacoffee.com and all those links are, you know, always all over the place so you know what to do. Here's to a uh, hundred more. That should about wrap it up for today. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you very, very soon. I think. Probably. Adios. <laughs>